this is my last update on planting tromboncino squash it is november the 17th and i would say my experiment for planting fall squash was a failure hello gardening friends this is dave with organic gardening in north carolina let me turn the camera around and i'll show you what happened to my tromboncino last week stick around to the end and i'll put a link to all the videos in this series in the corner up here and over here i'll put a link to a video that youtube says you will like based on your viewing habits all right if you are interested in growing nutrient dense food in an urban environment make sure that you are subscribed and click that bell so you don't miss anything all right let me turn the camera around i'll show you what happened to my trombone cena squash this week here it is we got two nights that were down in the 20s last week. Tromboncino does not like frost. So here's one vine. And here's another vine that went up this trellis. As you can see, the cold kills it really quick. So a couple things I'm thinking I could have done, I could have started the seeds inside when it was still super super hot out and then I would have had the opportunity to um, get the seedlings started quicker and then I could have transplanted them out when, this, when, it, when the weather, blah, 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 when the weather cooled off a little bit and they would have had a, uh, another couple weeks head start. Because I did have small, small sprouts or small um, fruits on these vines. In fact, I did eat one that was about two inches long and it was still really tiny and skinny. So I didn't really get a good uh, flavor, a good representation of what the vine will taste like. Let's see. There was another one over here that I stuck in the ground from a thinning and one more over here but the good thing is it's only four months until I can start some of these tromboncinos inside I think I'll go ahead and start them inside to give them a head start on our season here too it is really hard to grow vining crops like this because of our high heat and humidity here in North Carolina Zone 7B. But it was a good experience to grow these and I'm looking forward to having them grow in my garden next year. So stay tuned and like I said I will put that link to the whole series up here in the corner and over there is a link to a video that Google says you will like. And down in the bottom, of course, over here is the bee, the flower with the bee on it. You can click on that to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. All right, so I'll give you a little bit of time to do that. And I will see you again real soon. Have a blessed day.